Um, I'm Joy Pagurayan and I just want to ask you guys um, help for, you know, like they lost their houses. I, I was just really, I, I mean, I feel really bad because I was personally, I was here in Palawan. I was stuck here for four days and all the way here going to the airport. You know, like I saw the tragedy and it's really bad. It really breaks my heart. And now I'm here because I want to ask you guys a help to, you know, like donate anything that you can. Because personally, I want to go to the Clawman and help them, especially to Miss Philippines UK family. Um, I know, guys, that we can do something else. I know that. I know that we can help these people. I have no idea personally because I was stuck inside the hotel. And I don't know what's going on around us. And I just like watch the news right now because like this is the only day that we can fly going back to Manila. And I just watching the news this morning. And it really breaks my heart that you can see like 10,000, more than 10,000 people which just passed away because of this super typhoon and I just want to help them I just want to help their families and I just want to, you know, like give something to them and I hope that you can help me as well so, like personally I'm asking your help and if you have like donations or whatever, like food to eat, like water um, something in law, like Ilang tao ang namatay dito sa super typhoon? Um, confirmed casualties as of uh, I think yesterday or the day before pa. Because we're not getting exact figures as of now. Confirmed casualties is three pa lang. Pero there are hundreds to thousands missing. Oh my god. And um, yeah, everything's devastated. Like at the side of the hotel, at Comisaria. This is in town, ah. Uh, most of the houses near the shore. Um, no more roofs. Some of the houses are half. Um, yung iba wala na talaga. As in, wala, wala. They're, they're, they're completely gone. Um, even in Mabintangen, um, where it's it's quite close to Koron, um, I would say maybe 90% of the houses are gone. I could see only two standing structures out of 100. Maybe more, I don't know. So yeah, once again, we're asking for your help. Um, Please find the compassion to help out our fellow Filipinos. And um, any help is appreciated. Beautiful Filipinos are so resilient. They're just trying to start a new life again. Trying to go back to what's normal. They'll do it. It still breaks my heart.